And hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Excel and how to do something really useful that you may run into. If you have a list of words separated by spaces, a list of words separated by commas, or some type of character, or some type of separation, and it's basically given to you in paragraph form. Uh, how can you turn that into a list in columns or a list in rows in Excel? It's a very useful thing to know uh, because sometimes you do want to create a spreadsheet based off of a list separated by commas, but you don't want to go through all the words and just erase the comma, copy and paste into an Excel. So there is a very easy way to do this in Excel uh, where you don't have to do the entire erasing and copying and pasting, it does it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste some tags from my YouTube videos because those tend to have commas in between. So the most recent Photoshop tutorial that I did, here are the tags. I'm going to go ahead and highlight them all, copy them all. And if we head back into Excel here and I paste them, you'll see that all of them are separated by commas here. And they're all in one cell. Now, if I want to have these all in different columns or different rows, how am I going to do this? Now, like I said, if you have things with spaces in between, like you have single words with spaces, it works this way too. So what you're going to do is going to highlight the first cell where you pasted your text in. Then you're going to head to the data tab and you're going to head to the text to columns button. Now in text to columns, you want to hit deliminator. So we're basically trying to eliminate something from our text uh, that we can get rid of which will be commas. So go ahead and press next. And then here you want to select what do you want to eliminate. You can select comma, you can select space, you can select other semicolon. If you have another character, for example, such as a period or something, you can go ahead and press other here and type in a period and that'll basically eliminate the periods. Now for us, we do have commas. Make sure you keep tab selected. So for commas, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that's pretty much everything we need on the screen. You're gonna hit next again. And then here, you want to make sure you have general selected. After that, you're going to go ahead and press finish. And what that will do, it'll bring all of your words into different columns, as you can see. So we don't have that huge list anymore in cell A. We actually have the huge list separated by columns with the commas out. And each phrase from our tags from our YouTube video is in a column. So if you want to do like rankings, then we can do it very easily here. But to take this a step further, what if you don't want columns? What if you want rows? Well, the way you do that is go ahead and highlight everything in your first uh, cell. So from A all the way to however far it goes. So just go ahead and hit the hit this number one here, or wherever, or wherever you pasted your list. Just hit the hit the cell to the left, the cell number. Then you're gonna go ahead and press copy. So Control C to copy. Then you're gonna go ahead and uh, select the cell underneath it, or wherever you want to paste the list wherever you want to paste let's go ahead and select that cell so let's go ahead and paste it in uh starting from row three then right click click paste special and then in this pop-up box you want to select transpose which is the check box at the bottom right corner here and that's all we need go and press ok and you'll see that all of your words get turned into rows and very easily if you want to do some rankings or you want to make special notes about these things or if you have a word to list and you want their definitions you can very easily do that too so it's a very nice little trick if you have a list of words and you want to transform the columns or rows this is a really easy way to do it very quick way to do it and very hassle free and it's very easy too so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and it was a kind of short one but i just wanted to share this trick with you because that was really useful it's been helping me out a lot and i think uh it can be helpful to you as well if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. We really appreciate it. If you, to, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go and subscribe. Plenty of other software tutorials on the channel. Lots of Excel tutorials coming as well. There are already some on the channel. We have plenty of other tutorials on video editing, image editing, audio editing, lots of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. And if you want to donate $8 to my Patreon page, anything as low as that is very helpful and very much appreciated. I also have a vlogging channel, a music channel, a gaming channel, and an advice channel. You want to check that out. Links in the description as well as in the end screen. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. This is GS Now Smart, and I'll be back. Soon you think, don't go anywhere.